The Jetpack 5 upgrade documentation states that you must update the QSPY on the Jetson NX developer kit before using the new SD card. What is QSPI and what does it do? The short answer is that QSPI is flash memory on a Jetson module. QSPI holds the bootloader, firmware, and other data which the Jetson needs to start up. Jetpack 4 uses CBoot as one of the bootloader components. Jetpack 5 replaces CBoot with UEFI. That's why the QSPI needs updating. This video is in chapters so that you can skip to the parts which interest you. First, we show an overview of the boot flow process. This gives a little background. Next is a chapter on creating a new SD card image for Jetpack 5. For backup purposes, we also make a Jetpack 4 SD card. If you have a running Jetpack 4 system, the next chapter shows you how to update the QSPI directly on the Jetson. There is no need for a host computer in this method. This is the simplest way to upgrade. Let's say you do not have a running Jetpack 4 system, or you want to start from scratch. The next chapter shows how to download the Jetpack 5 BSP and root FS to a host computer. Then we build a QSPI image and flash it to the Jetson. To round things out, we have a chapter which will show you how to revert the QSPI back to use with Jetpack 4. This requires a host computer and is much the same method as flashing Jetpack 5 to the QSPI. Here's a look at the Jetson Xavier NX module with the fan removed. In the center, we see the large Tegra Xavier chip. This system on a chip is the heart of the Jetson. The Xavier chip consists of a group of functional blocks. These functional blocks consist of the CPU, the GPU, and a set of embedded processors to help with system tasks. One of the subsystems on the chip is the Boot and Power Management Processor, or BPMP. The BPMP handles preliminary booting of the system. Let's take a look at the boot flow. This is for a cold boot of the system. When powering on, system level hardware executes the power up sequence. Then control passes to the boot ROM. The boot ROM begins executing and configures the on-chip I.O. controllers. The controllers can then access the secondary boot device. More on that in a second. From the secondary boot device, the boot ROM fetches the boot configuration table and loads microboot. If all goes well, execution passes to microboot, which then loads Tegra boot. There's a lot of noise here about security and redundancy. Let's conveniently ignore that. Now T-Boot loads the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, or UEFI, onto the CPU. T-Boot also loads system firmware to support on-chip processors. Once UEFI is finished loading, T-Boot tells the CPU to start executing. Then UEFI starts loading the Linux kernel. And then we're off to the races. You can see why we call it bootstrapping. We're lifting our up by our own boot laces. And this idea of a bootstrap by your shoelaces, it's physically impossible. The whole thing is a joke. I mentioned the secondary boot device. What is it? As you probably guessed, the secondary boot device is flash memory. The location and type of flash memory depends on the Jetson model. For the Jetson Xavier NX developer kit, the flash memory is a small chip on the Jetson module. We refer to it as QSPY NOR. Not that kind of spy. QSPY stands for Quad Serial Peripheral Interface, an interface for communicating with flash memory. NOR is the type of flash memory. It is also referred to as QSPY. Let's go to the Jetpack SDK webpage. We'll download the SD card image for the Jetson Xavier NX developer kit. Now let's scroll to the bottom of the page. Let's hit this link to the Jetpack archive and select Jetpack 4.6.2. Let's grab the SD card image for the Xavier NX. Let's switch over to the getting started with Jetson Xavier NX developer kit. Let's go to Write Image to the Micro SD Card. There are instructions here for Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. I am going to follow the instructions for Linux. Let's download Etcher. Let's extract it here. 
and launch the program. Let's flash the Jetpack 5 SD card. Let's set the target drive. I'm using a new SD card. Let's flash. Password. Repeat this process for the Jetpack 4 SD card image and boot the Jetson from it. Let's take a quick look at our configuration. I will use the Jetson Utilities from the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. L4T 32.7.1, Ubuntu 18.04. Let's scroll down the page a little and we will grab the QSpy image. Let's save it to the home directory and switch over to that directory. Open up the flashing support page. First, erase the QSpy. Next, we extract the QSpy image file. The instructions in the manual have a typo. And finally, we are ready to flash the QSpy with the image. Now we power down the Jetson, insert the Jetpack 5 SD card, and power the system back on. I accept my fate. We go through the usual system setup and the system reboots. This is a good sign. Let's log in. Home sweet home. Let's open up a terminal. Let's download the Jetson utility repository from the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. And we can see that we are running L4T 35.1 Ubuntu 20.04. I declare victory. Let's build the QSPI image from the Jetpack 5 board support package. Then we will flash the QSPI. Let's scroll down to download and links. We download the driver package, the board support package. Then we download the sample root file system. Now let's open this directory in a terminal. We need the QEMU user static package. Now it's time to expand the board support package and the root FS. We set the board environment variable. Let's hop up a directory and we will apply the binaries. Let's set the Jetson into force recovery mode. To do that, we need to jump our pins 9 and 10 here on the J50 header located directly under the Jetson module. You can use a standard jumper to connect the two pins a pair of tweezers would be useful. I have found that a DuPont female-to-female -female breadboard jumper wire is easier to use. Now we connect pins 9 and 10 together. The micro USB end of a USB cable is plugged into the Jetson. We now plug in the other end to our host laptop. Now we power on the Jetson. And we see our little green light. Let's sing the song. LS USB. There it is. We need to remove the force recovery jumper. Let's take a look at our configuration files. There's the one we want to use. And we begin to flash. Now power down the Jetson. Insert the Jetpack 5.0 SD card and go through the setup process. Let's revert our QSpy back to Jetpack 4. Let's scroll down here. We are using Jetson Linux 32.7.2. We download the L4T driver package, the port support package. Then we download the sample root file system. 
Let's put these files in a new folder. Then let's open up a terminal in this directory. Now we open up the Jetson Linux developer guide for this release. Let's scroll down a little. We need to set the board environment variable. Now we are ready to get to work. Let's extract the board support package. We switch over to the rootfs directory. Then we extract the sample root file system. Then we hop up a directory. We need the QEMU user static package. Now let's prepare our images by applying the binaries. Let's set the Jetson into force recovery mode. To do that, we need to jump our pins 9 and 10 here on the J50 header located directly under the Jetson module. You can use a standard jumper to connect the two pins. A pair of tweezers would be useful. I have found that a DuPont female to female breadboard jumper wire is easier to use. Now we connect pins 9 and 10 together. The micro USB end of a USB cable is plugged into the Jetson. We now plug in the other end to our host laptop. Now we power on the Jetson. And we see our little green light. Let's sing the song. LS USB. There it is. We need to remove the force recovery jumper. Let's take a look at our configuration files. Now it's time to flash the Jetson QSPY. Now we place the Jetpack 4 SD card into the Jetson and start it up. Let's run Jetson Utilities. And we're back. Ubuntu 18.04. Just a quick note. The QSPY version that you are using must match the Jetpack version. A Jetpack 4 SD card will not work on a Jetpack 5 QSPY, and a Jetpack 5 SD card will not work with a Jetpack 4 QSPY. As usual, thanks for watching.